Good morning. Free audio update here on the stock market. Um, no video for the morning brief here. And this is Rich Posen for Critical Point, and it's February 25th, 9.17 a.m. Eastern Time. So yesterday we had a really nice surge in the stock market. We discussed the prior day as being this positive reversal, looked very impressive, like there was a washout and that someone suddenly said, go ahead, sell all you want because we're going to buy everything you've got and more. Well, that followed through yesterday. Very impressed with that action. Put the market above the five-day average. The five day, Now, the market's backing off this morning, and the five-day average is about flat. That's how it looks to me. We need some higher closes, and I think if you get higher closes going on into next week or something, we'll see that five-day average turn up, which would be technical evidence of a correct call by the model that a level three bottom was placed two days ago, okay? And the fascinating thing is that would be the latest day allowed at the same time of being the latest week allowed relative to futures. Now, the cash is a bit sloppy. It bottomed later than I wanted for the cash, but on a short-term basis, I've said the futures rule the market. So bottom line is I think the model is intact and fine that it just simply bottomed the latest allowed that we want to put our bias to the futures. So the forecast is bullish into next week, may even stay up all next week for this level three trend. Now for this particular audio update, I'm not going to give away uh, for free the what we're looking at for these larger trends, uptrends this year. How does that fit into the long-term bull market? And I'll discuss that tomorrow in the weekly update. If there's any complications, always remember any update on Friday can be delayed to some time over the weekend. At any rate, uh, that's what we're scheduled for, a weekly update tomorrow where we'll look at short, short term, maybe even very short term, all the way to long term. I may try to make it one of the more brief this time around, not so much economy, macro, and outside market, and not so much long term because uh, some of the very long term stuff we know, <laughs> there's no sense updating it every week because it's just redundant. We know what we want. Uh, there's no changes there. Everything's intact. So anyways, watch the five-day average for support here today and tomorrow because a level four bottom is due today or tomorrow. This may suggest they want to sell a little bit going into to finish off the week, but my guess is they're not going to sell a huge amount. Now, if it goes below yesterday's low, we need to have another discussion. We need to reevaluate, and I do not want to see it violate uh, the low of the week. Now, what do we have for uh, just a quick update on some of the outside markets? Because a, a lot of this seemed to be linked to uh, strong interest rates. Well, we still have another big down week in the bond prices, therefore another big up week in interest rates. But I think maybe the stock market's saying, you know, we can't sell forever just because interest rates are going up. And the overall rate itself really is not that high at all, historically. But there's no doubt about it, the percent change of the interest rates is something significant and clipping some and bothering some, okay? How I look at it, what really caused that jump in interest rates, it seems to me you've got to liquidate some bonds somewhere, even though someone else bought them up. If you're liquidating those bonds, okay, where are you going with the money? And I think that money is going to go into maybe building new businesses, expanding businesses, buying real estate, buying more Bitcoin commodities, but also buying more stocks. And sometimes people don't sell one thing and immediately buy the other. They go shopping a bit. So I think this structure is okay. And as I look at the dollar, yes, it's now moving a little softer, but we knew it was going to move lower anyways into next month. But I don't think the dollar is really concerned over those higher interest rates. Higher interest rates normally are, they are the key thing for the dollar. But the dollar also looks at inflation, or the dollar traders look at inflation. And I'm thinking they're more in line with growing economy and inflation, and they're not really concerned about the rising rates here in the U.S. because the rest of the world is raising their rates too. Or at least that's what I understand. At least some of them are. And the dollar is saying, okay, you know, uh, there's not much of a change there for us to play the interest rate, but we can play the inflation scenario not only for the U.S. but for the world because we probably got growing economies. 
So I think this has all been a positive, corrective, uh, uh, correct thing to do, that the stock market fell just from normal corrections and rotation and overdid it on the fear side of interest rates, and it's eventually going to get caught up and ignore this level of interest rates and go up anyways. Just my thoughts. All right, uh, hopefully if you're not a subscriber, get on board there and be ready for that weekly update tomorrow uh, so you have a better understanding and be able to see on the charts these model signals and how well they work and get an idea how that can fit for your style of uh, trading. Keep in mind, even though I'm a macroeconomic investor trader, meaning I don't select individual stocks, I trade the entire market, that information can be very valuable for an individual stock picker because if the whole tide of the market's going up, you might be able to pick the stocks that are going to outperform the market and be on the right side of it. And if you'd like to be a counter trend trader, you might be able to pick the stocks that are actually going up while the, old, uh, the entire market's going down. Uh, manage your risk, Ralph Thomas, others. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see where we go. But don't be surprised, a little bit of selling here in the stock market. Ultimately, though, I think at least the near-term trend is probably up unless the low of this week is violated. Thank you.